Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and we show how we're nearing the end of days. We're going to show some things about Donald Trump today. On our channel, we show how human beings are used as a host for spirits, and that the false prophet of the Bible, and the Antichrist, and all of these different things that are coming, the beast out of the earth, the beast out of the sea, there are so many different characters coming at the end times, it's, it's just crazy. Trump is portraying one of these characters. Now, this does not mean that Trump will be elected president and become the Antichrist to do all of these things. The spirits play people as a host. The same spirit that could be in Trump could be the same spirit that's inside of Obama. Could be the same spirit that's inside of Putin. It could be the same Antichrist spirit that ends over with Prince William or something. They play the people as the host to set the world up for World War III and to bring in the New World Order and the concentration camps and to take away the religious freedom and all of these different things. But you can see this right here. Trump is portraying one of these things known as the little horn of the Bible. See him right here? Persecuting the saints. See there? He's coming to, he says he's coming to bring everything perfect, just like Hitler used to promise things. Well, in the Bible, he's called the little horn. He's right there. See right here in this ancient Egyptian glyph? Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. This fifth angel comes with this key to open the abyss. There's going to be a large nuclear event that happens to the USA, blamed on terrorism as such, or even an invasion from North Korea and China and everybody. And then they're going to blame it all on everything to bring their new world order in. See the little horn coming to persecute the saints. In the book of Acts 2.17, it says you will see signs in the heavens and on the earth. Again, this does not mean that that is Trump. Every one of these people here has a role to play. Putin, Obama, Prince William, I mean, through China, North Korea, it's a big thing coming. As far as your Antichrist figure, you should center your looks upon the British royal family and be looking at Prince William and such over there. And Obama is as a Judas figure to set everything up to turn over to them. Let's stop this right here and just get quick. Do you see Trump Tower? Trump Tower. Do you see how are these these are there are these steps? Like to pass over something. This is the way the earth is done. It's like a giant grid. Everything's mapped out perfectly by the Bible. Just as if you could pass over this. See, going up the steps and going up and over what is called the little horn of the Bible. Trump is just the voice for the little horn right now. The actual figure that is coming to bring concentration camps. Yes. Trump is just one of the many characters playing this role. Obama plays the same role to set everything up. Putin's involved. But you have to realize that most of humanity is just looking for an Antichrist figure and doesn't care about any of the events leading up to that day and just want to know about the Big Bang. I keep telling everybody the Big Bang's coming. See the steps going up and over? He's seen like an Indian guy too. Watch. This is Hopi Prophecy Rock. Their prophecies go exactly by the Bible and the Freemasons go by these prophecies also. They have a picture of this guy hanging in the Denver International Airport called Maysaw, who comes with his saw to destroy the world. See the wheel and the Nazi swastika? Here is Jesus Christ time. We are in the fourth age. One, two, three, four. See us going up and over the steps and passing over the swastika coming as the earth is replanted. That's your rapture event, and this right here is a great earthquake that will destroy the USA and set everybody up to rise up. The, the west coast will be gone and the tidal waves are supposed to come all the way up and over the east coast because the earth is moved on this day right here and then world war three starts right after something happens to the usa and they tear our constitution and bill of rights down and there's the nazis rising again he's in the denver international airport this is in the denver international airport right there there's mesol this is the door for jesus christ and for us to go that is also when that great earthquake hits 
and then comes the guillotines see it right there and the cube of Islam and the Kaaba and here is the new trees being grown for Israel when it's all done the oil for the foolish virgins the oil for the wise right there the same picture that is him there are the steps I mean we're heading towards the end of days this is the trumpet getting ready to blow again realize humanity will now want Donald Trump to be the Antichrist and want him to do everything he could not even get elected we may not even make it to the next election it's all about what he's saying and doing right now in other words he's bringing concentration camps soon see the steps to go up and over the Trump the trumpet of God known as the little horn of the Bible coming confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah you need to realize human beings are a host for spirits that play billions and billions of people like a puppet game right by the Bible both sides do this there is a place where the ladder comes down and it was in pineal it represents the angels going up and down through the pineal gland do you see that little thing right there by his head that represents him coming down into a pineal gland of a host coming down going through a door into an actual person that's what these things do thank you very much everybody and realize the whole world is not ready for this my god they, they, people don't even think that they're hosts for spirits yet even though it's all over the bible thank you very much everybody donald trump donald trump is the voice of the little horn right now may god have mercy on us all